Hello everyone, welcome back to Continental Food and Cake TV. If today is your first time here, you are highly, highly welcome. My name is Joy Joy. In today's video, we are making delicious Irish stew. It tastes so delicious that you don't want to miss it. To make the Irish stew, I'm using chicken breast that I cut into medium size. But you can also use beef, like stew beef. The next ingredient is spring onion chopped, carrots cut as well, red bell pepper and yellow bell pepper. Also I have chopped onion, scotch bonnet, ginger and garlic paste. Next I have five large potatoes that I peel then cut into medium size. Next I have chicken seasoning and curry powder. To fry I'm using coconut oil and you know coconut oil is rich in flavor. So to season the chicken breast I add garlic and ginger then add chopped onion. After that I add some chicken seasoning add a little bit of curry powder, add some salt, mix together to combine. After mixing together until it's well well combined, then I set aside for at least 10 minutes. The list of all the ingredients is going to be on the description box, so feel free to check it out. And if you're new here, if you've not subscribed, you're welcome. Please hit the subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up and also leave your comments. Let me know if you're going to try this recipe or if you've tried it before. A normal Irish stew is made with beef, but I'm showing you how to make this with chicken breast. So, so delicious. So next I have my pan in a high heat. To that I'm adding a full tablespoon of coconut oil. As I said before, coconut oil is rich in flavor. Next, allow the coconut oil to melt or dissolve. Then you can now add your chicken breast. And when you add your chicken breast, you want to fry your chicken breast until it turns golden brown. On one side, after that, you flip over and continue frying until it turns golden brown on each side. It takes between uh, 1 to 20 minutes depending on the heat you're using. I'm using a high heat and this smell amazing Please if you've not give this video a thumbs up give it a thumbs up and also let me know Are you going to make your Irish stew with chicken breast or are you going to make it with beef? I would like to know leave it in the comment section. Thank you so much as you do so So we are still frying our chicken breast as I said it smell amazing smell delicious <laughs> Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up Thank you so much. Once the chicken breast is golden brown, next scoop it out and keep it aside for use later. Guys, you see how this chicken breast is looking like? As I said before, delicious and smell amazing. My kitchen is blowing up. Trust me, I said it's blowing up. So after transferring the chicken to a plate and keep it aside for use later. So it's time to start frying everything together. Add your garlic and ginger paste, then add your carrots. Add your carrots and stir fry for at least five minutes. Yes, one step frying the carrot is just to boost the flavor of the carrot. After step frying the carrot for at least five minutes, next add your potato. After that, mix together to combine. Then add some salt to boost and enhance the flavor. Add some chicken seasoning and curry powder, mix together to combine. Then add enough water to cook the carrot and potato until soft. the carrot and vegetable for 20 minutes it's time to check on it so with my fork i'm going to check if the potato is soft and the carrot so before adding other ingredients such as spring onion bell peppers i like to add them almost at the end of the cooking yes because i like it fresh i like to cook it but not too much so once my potato is soft then I can add other ingredients. So now I'm going to add the chicken breast that I fried earlier on. Add it in. After that, you can now add other ingredients, scotch bonnet, bell peppers, 
uh, green peppers, onion, and once you add all the, all the rest of the ingredients, you mix together to combine. You can adjust the consistency by adding more water or add more chicken seasoning. Just taste as you cook because that's what I do. I taste my food. Make sure you add everything you want at this point because at this point we are getting to the end of the cooking. And please use any vegetable of your choice. You can use um, uh, cauliflower. You can use... Um, broccoli just make up your own vegetable but these are my own you know my own vegetables that i like so add it in mix together to combine then if you want to make it if you want the the the, the liquid to be thick what you're going to do is what i'm doing now match some of the potato and add it in because i love my you know the gravy i, li I like it a little bit thick not just too liquid i like it a little bit thick so you just match some of your potato and add it in after that add some salt if you need some salt add more water to adjust the consistency what i love about this uh, stew is that you can adjust the consistency depending on how you want it so next cover your pot and allow to cook for at least five to ten minutes and after five to ten minutes your average stew is ready this stew is so easy to make very easy you don't need too much ingredients trust me just so easy to make and remember as i told you before you can make it with beef but i'm showing you how to make it with chicken breast yes and it tastes amazing you can eat the Irish stew on its own serve it on a plate and enjoy it tastes so delicious but i'm going to show you another way Pair it with the white rice and you're good to go. Delicious, delicious. Yes, if you want to have a change from Nigerian stew, this is your next stew, your go-to stew. Just few ingredients needed and you're good to go. And it doesn't take time to cook. Minimum time, less than one hour, your stew is ready. Delicious, delicious. So let me know if you're going to try this Irish stew or if you've tried it before, please leave it in the comment section. And if you've not subscribed, subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. I love you guys and I will see you in another one. Bye-bye.